Hey guys! Hey Happy Sunday! Welcome aboard, guys, everybody. Oh, we're in the beautiful Everglades. One of our favorite the spots. The weather is perfect. Set yeah. the scene, James. Set the yeah, scene. Yeah, look at this, guys. There's fish are jumping. This is looking at the sea of grass that is the Everglades. It's looking north. There's an Anahinga down there. We're Look, on the, a lookout that's the for Tree Island. Yep, I got my big camera all set and ready to go. Welcome aboard, Guys, everybody. Guys, we're alligator spotting. Hope you're having a nice Sunday. I really do. Hope you're doing uh, well. Relax with us. Relaxing. Some folks popping in. Nick G popping in. Kevin, yeah, Nick G, we got the other car today. Damon Dunn, Greg B, Ronnie C, and Vincent Padgett popping in. Can't wait to see you, Vincent. Can't wait to see everybody in the chat. Nice seeing you today. It's an absolute great A, triple A day. Low humidity, low humidity, and beautiful skies. Extra good. You want to tie um, Hudson to the fence, James? So guys, we are alligator spotting. Now, we are usually very lucky in the Everglades that almost, I'd say almost pretty much every time that we've come out to the Everglades, yeah. there's been an alligator. Look at that brown is way out there. Oh, we were quite zoomed in. Did you know that, James? I zoomed out even where you were. Oh, there's an alligator. There's an alligator right there. Where? Right there. Where is he? In front of the tree oh, island. I see him. He's coming out. Guys, there's an alligator in the water right in front of the tree island. Alligator I'm going to zoom in. in. We've seen our first alligator. I'm zooming in. Alligator is in the water, guys. He's right in the middle of the screen, guys. He's right in the middle of the screen. He's right in the middle of the screen. Look, look in the... I put him in the middle of the screen now. He's well camouflaged. There's a little, like, yellow... Um, I don't know if it's a flower. But yeah, that's a where pad, a lily pad, and that's where he is. He's hiding Not in there. Not the best picture just yet because he's got that leaf in front of his snout. Right, he's got the leaf. His 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 teeth are facing that yellow leaf. It's yeah. in the center of the screen. Alligator yes. is Hudson, in the water. Hudson, king guys. of alligator. So Vincent Padula sees it. Greg B is in the chat. Greg B, we just sighted, it, found our first alligator. I mean, we we start the live stream and boom, an alligator. They come out and say howdy do. Boom, an alligator. Well, howdy do. I had to be really zoomed in yeah. to, uh, to, to show. It's not the best shot either because yeah. he's got that leaf in front hey, of him. Hey, Jennifer Haight, Watanabe, Watanabe says smack dab. In the middle of the screen. Smack dab. Ridgewood 237 says hi. Book Girl NY says hi. Hey, Ridgewood 237. Guys, we found our first alligator. First yeah. alligator spotting. Yeah. It's right smack dab in the middle of the screen. You'll see like a little yellow flower. Oh, he's oh, on the move. He's, he's on the move. Look, James, the alligator's coming closer. He's got a fish. Oh, the Anahinga's got a, got a fish, but I'm on the alligator, James. Yeah. James, I gotta focus Wait, on I the alligator. Show everybody. No, the alligator's coming our way. Oh, he is. All right. Oh, God, he's coming closer. He's coming closer, guys. The alligator's on the move. He's on the move. He's coming over. He spotted King Hudson. He spotted the Pizza King. Here comes the alligator. You guys see it? Yeah. <laughs> the caiman. Can I, can I go ahead? Oh yeah, he's friendly. He's friendly. The caiman is on the on the prowl. Watch your feet. James, get the get hey, get ready. That. What's that right there? Was that a fish? Yeah, that's the f same fish we saw when we first got here. Oh, look at that James, thing, the alligator. It's a baby. Oh, okay. It's not a very big one. It's a baby, James. Guys, do you see the alligator? He's coming closer. Guys, alligator in Spanish is caiman. I'm pretty sure. Right? It's not a very it's not the biggest alligator we've spotted here, but it's an alligator nonetheless. You could only, uh, you know, don't think shoes if you have very large feet. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, He's there turning. he is. He's turning. It's hard to keep him in the, in the uh, straight and narrow on this. Jennifer Haight says, I see it. 
Carla, tell the alligator I said hi. Hello, Chanchet Charlotte. Gators love marshmallows, Canadian giant is saying. Do not feed the alligators. Not a good idea. Ridgewood237 says, I see him. Hold on to Hudson. Don't let him get to Hudson. Yeah. Carla is a good gator watcher, says Vincent Padula. Sonia Mur Malau says, get out. Nick G says, do they have a smell? Well, I don't, I don't know if alligators smell, but uh, they probably smell us. Hey, Kathy R. Ian Melillo saying hello, everyone. How can we have on... on James? Oh, may I move this camera away? No, this doesn't make any sound. Gators eat s'mores. Oh my God. Oh jeez. Protect our baby Hudson. Don't worry guys. Hudson's safety is our is paramount. We are we are safe. We are on a viewing platform, safe from the alligator. Yeah. Gator cam, exactly as in boy. Hey Emily Gangadeed saying hi. Lisa UK girl saying hi. Sue Price said the, 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 the gator came to see the king. Yes, that's Hudson. Texas Tickle says, Mama Gator is behind you. Oh, gosh. No. You know, it's alligator mating season, we heard. Mm -hmm. um, we read that on the internet, that it is alligator mating season. So um, gators could be looking for love. Guys, you never know. We got we to gotta look for more gators. They could be looking yeah. for love. Rico. Looking for love uh, in all the right places. Hi. You want to say hi? Hi. This is Hudson. Oh, nice. Oh, he likes you guys. Oh, look at him. He's laying down. He's making it easy for you to pet him. Oh, oh he gave you a big kiss. <laughs> oh, Hudson's always the sweetest. Guys, look at that. They're feeding the, the, uh, the, they, they got little chips for the, the cheese birds. Doodles. Cheese doodles. Oh my God. Maybe the, the alligator would like a cheese doodle. Yeah, maybe I would. Six gator eggs. Wow. Do the how many how many eggs do ga alligators lay? Alligators are um, reptiles. They're definitely reptiles. Kurt saying hello from Hungary. Oh, hey, extra good. RJ Wertheimer saying hi. Cheeky chops, invite me, invite me. Cheeky chops, come on. Come on, on down. down. Come on down to the Everglades. It's beautiful. James, what's the current temperature here? There's a beautiful breeze. It's a little cloudy right now, so it's not... Wow, listen to those birds chirp. It's, uh, I would guess, 79, right in there. 79 degrees Fahrenheit, something like that. Potatoes. I'm looking... For more alligators, James. I, I spotted that one real good, right? Hudson is pulling because he wants the cheese doodles, James. I see all these little, um, like, yeah. The bird's making a warning sound. Oh, ARB saying hi. Keith Haven saying hi. ARB says, hey, you're Carla, James, and Hudson. What do you call an alligator who's wearing a vest? An investigator. <laughs> There's a sweet boy Hudson. Stephen Jackowitz says that it was so cute with the kids. Yeah, Hudson's always the sweetest. He loves kids. He's so friendly. Always making friends wherever he goes. Let's go back onto the. Um, see, we're on this viewing platform, guys. So we're uh, away from the danger of the gator. The gator can't get to us or Hudson. I'm looking for another gator for you, but all the, already we spotted a gator. So, I mean, you know, come on now. The girls love Hudson, says Vincent. Hudson says, don't waste the cheese doodles on alligators. Give them to me. Exactly, Stephen Casto. Beach Bum 88 um, says, hi, New Yorkers. How's everybody doing? Yeah, there? ARB, I like that one. 
Oh, Cheeky Chop says, I'm literally in the Everglades already. Remember, I'm the last um, exit of Alligator Alley. Oh, yeah, nice. so you'll be here in a jiffy. Um, you know where we are? We're on that tree island. Um, I mean, I don't rem remember what mile marker, but where that big viewing platform is. I think there's only one viewing platform. Right. And, it, and it's uh, we're on the side that faces, that heads, you know, west and north, northwest. I'm scanning the, the shoreline for more alligators, guys. Sharon Armstrong is saying hello. Cheeky Chops, I don't know. We're not really by Shark Valley because we're right off um, uh, Alligator Alley. There he is. You, you see this there alligator gator. again? Gator. Oh, there's, gator. A, there's gator. a gator. 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 Gator cam again, guys. The gator is on the move. I'm gonna. Microphone. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna Microphone is gator. I'm. I'm uh, zooming in. Guys, I, no, zoomed, I don't like how he looked at me. I, I zoomed in. The gator is now in the center of the screen. Note the alligator in the center of the screen. Cheeky chops. If you if you're if you're in the vicinity and you want to drive on down, be our guest. We're we're here. Look at a gator. Oh, so you have some homemade lamb chop stew. Well, like the, the gator probably would love that yeah. too. What? Oh, Karen was watching for gators too. Oh, very cool, Nick G. Microphone is gatoring. The gator. Gator cam. Hope to catch you later, alligator. Oh, look, just put a boat in the water. Hope to catch you later, alligator, ARB says. Yeah. The alligator, it's looking for a meat. It's mating season, and I think looking that that I think that alligator is right. Looking for love in all the wrong Urban places. Oh, Nick G says, "Miss you guys. We'd love to still be there." Yes. Oh, Nick G, it was so nice seeing nice you and Karen. You, Look, Gator's coming back this way. Jim, he's he's a smooth alligator. Smooth alligator instead of smooth operator, guys. Yeah. Note, note what I've done with this song. Smooth alligator. He's a smooth alligator. Put some coloring in the water. He'll be drinking some Gatorade. Laugh out loud, <laughs> David Dunn says. Oh, HM Landis, we're going to be head, uh, pulling up our anchor very soon. We have a we have a shoot to complete tomorrow, um, no, and hopefully. I mean, hopefully we Once will we get their blessing, right? You mean, I don't know if we'll be finished by tomorrow. We don't really know until we until tomorrow. So we'll know more um, tomorrow when exactly we'll be leaving. But it will be sometime this week, sometime this week, guys. Some type of beef. James, if you want to um, just hold the hudster. Yeah, because it's not, you know, really any. Yeah, guys, I'm going to zoom in again. The bag is OK. In there. Gator cam. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Guys, I've zoomed in. It's gator cam. Yeah, he's looking right at us. Sorry, I'm still not sure about that. <laughs> Texas Tickler, we're not sure if we're going to be able to have our uh, Monday trivia tomorrow because we have a job booked. So I really don't know if we're going to be able to be finished in time in order to live stream. It's, it's really difficult to say right now. Yeah, guys, we've got a lot going on, a lot of plates spinning right now. But right now, it's all about the alligator, You'll right, James? you be the first to know. Yep. The alligator is looking for a mate. Look at these clouds, guys. Look, they're going out, honey. Yeah, Vincent, um, Vincent, we're not sure if we're going to be able to live stream tomorrow um, a, uh, a a build and trivia chat. It really depends on how much uh, we get accomplished. We have a really early morning shoot. Look, guys. 
Okay, now that might stir up the alligator a little. So I'm gonna go. zoom back out. He's in the reeds. He's there. They're not. I think they were totally unaware that an alligator was like inches yeah. from them. Yeah, see the alligator went into the uh, when you the boat watch started out for up. Tree stumps. Exactly. When the uh, boat started it went into the uh, it, you can't see it anymore. How are you? Yeah, my uh, it's a really pretty clouds actually today, guys. I'm still spotting um, alligator spotting for you guys. Wow, it's the, it, I mean, it's a beautiful breeze. Really beautiful here. We're in the heart of the Everglades. In the wild, guys, we're in the wild. Steven Castell put up some alligator emojis. Oh, John Cipolla, we have a we have a um, we have a shoot tomorrow. We have a work assignment, but we we really uh, we you know we can't um, live stream from it because um, it's uh, we had to sign a, a non disclosure agreement. You know, it's it's no, it's for a client. Me. It's for a client that that um, has to be um, remain anonymous. I think we're okay. Oh, someone just jumped here. Sometimes it's those flies. Hey, Bella Estrella. Flies with beaks. Oh, H.M. Landis says, I'm pretty sure I saw some alligators when we were in Disney. Oh, very cool. Gators. Well, Everglades is not only home to alligators, but there's crocodiles, there's panthers, there's um, all sorts of uh, species bears. of birds. Bears. Bears. Um, I saw one on a trail cam, a big cypress. On special the deer, right? There's some some, yeah, some species deer. of deer. Key deer. They're small. Remember key deer? Yeah. There's some people fishing at this spot. Oh, there's a gator. There, there's a gator right there. There's a little one. That's a different one. Yeah, watch that. I wonder if it's going to try to meet with the other one. I'm gonna, James, I'm going to try to zoom in for everyone. Guys, I spotted the gator. Do you, I put it in the center of the screen. It should. It, you'll see it moving. Do you yeah. want me to um, take Hudson? No, I got it. It's not a good one. Right. Guys, it went underneath the lily pad now. So that's why you're not seeing it too well. But that's gator number of the day. It's underneath the lily pad still, I see it. I see its um, head. It's smaller. Its yeah, it's smaller than the first oh, one we it. saw. I see it. I see it. It's going into the bank. I'm going to just put these bags down because it's not, you know, yeah, yeah. I don't have to. Right over by the bank. Huh? Yeah, by the lily pads, guys. There's a gator. Right, right, right in here. That's where the gator is, where I put my, my thumb, my thing, not thumb, finger. Guys, the gator is right in there. Gator's after dark. It's a new channel. The gator's after dark. The mating, the, the mating, the mating uh, dance. The mating series. Look, fish are jumping. So the gators are active. They're not just sleeping. No, you are sleeping. Let me
me just zoom back out, guys. Let me show you this. Let me show you the beautiful scene here in the Everglades. Yeah, it's hard to describe how pretty this is. It's just the air is beautiful. Yeah, Nick G. There, there. I mean, I, I don't think there's hundreds. I think there's thousands of alligators in the Everglades. Um, I really don't know their numbers, guys. Can anybody look that up? Um, if there's any estimate of how many alligators live in the Everglades. I mean, the Everglades is, is a huge national um, park, so it's a preserve and everything. So, I mean, I'm sure they can possibly count the number of alligators that live here, but maybe there's some sort of estimate. Perry Wilk says, your lily pad or mine, babe? Oh, no. oh these crows coming up. Yeah, that's good camouflage. You're right. Um, Vincent Padula says they like to stay in those lily pads because it's good camouflage. Exactly. Nick, Rosalind Brown says, yeah, there's a lot of gators. Hey, Emily Gangadine and Sammy are saying hi. Hey, Sammy and Emily. What do you call a crocodile with GPS? A navigator. Uh... Bum, bum, bum. Oh, that's a good one, open one plumbing. The there's the other one. They're oh, there's coming. there's there's, gonna be a there's, meeting. there's, there's two gonna be a meeting. two alligators. Two gators one, in the water. Two, two gators in the water. Shh, shh, shh. Two gators, guys. They, there could be a fight. There could be a meat attemption. God only knows what's going to happen here, guys. Guys, there's two gators. A larger one. I put it in the center of the screen, and a smaller one is down in by the lily pads. Guys, I don't know if the other gator is aware of the other gator. Yes, the other gator is moving in the background. Oh, They're that's... Moving. Look at it. You can see two of them, guys, right now. <laughs> oh, my God. My watch. It's a croc fight. It's a dock of a bull. Croc fight. 200,000 gators. Oh, he's turning. Oh, he's turning in. Oh, my God. I wonder if he... Oh, he... Crocodile beef. <laughs> Alligator beef. Alligator in the Everglades. Go, alligator, go. Two right there. Two. Two alligators spotted today. Wow, it's really quite windy. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. I didn't even realize. Dos alligators, guys. Yeah, Dos. Cool. Oh, wait. They're not even, uh, it's not even zoomed. Guys, I've got it zoomed in on where the alligator is swimming. That one's swimming away. The other one's going into it. He's in the he's a crock pot. Oh, my God. They're too funny. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's going to go hide in the, uh, in the brush. Hide in the reed over there. Yeah. I see him good. You're loving it. Oh, good, Vincent. Vincent, nice job. Wow, it's a beautiful breeze today. Well, I'm focusing on the alligator for everyone. Yeah, he's going, he's going, uh, he's going into camouflage mode. He's, he's going in that little, like, outcropping of uh vestibule. there's like a little little shaded area and i, like and I think vestibule. yeah he's gonna go hide in there now he's still in there guys he's in the center of the screen he's right i'm gonna i'm gonna zoom out and i'm gonna show you where he is he's right in there and the other alligator is still by the lily pads right there so there's two alligators right now Two. Two. Oh no, Vincent, don't worry about the guy with the lemur yesterday. He was just, you know, it's like yeah. some people are just grumpy, you know? Some people are grumpy people. Grumpy pants. Grouchy. Oh, the alligator's us. figuring it out. He's coming back towards us. Oh, the alligator's on the move. 
Yeah, cheeky chops. We're we're um we're more we're pretty far from There's we're pretty from alligator. pretty far from third Naples. Alligator. Oh, third alligator. Third alligator in the water, guys. Three third alligator. Three three alligators, guys. This is this one's further away. Three alligator number three for today. I put him in the center of the screen. His head is just visible. Third alligator in the water. He just dove. He just dove. He just dove. He's back in. He's back. Perry Wilk says there's a dual ecosystems, one being alligators, which thrive on salt water and crocodiles on freshwater. This is the most unique system in the world. Look, yeah. This one's coming back over now. Wow. There, the could, ones, gonna... there could be alligator beef. Guys, there's an alligator over here. There's the alligator. Now I'm going to swing slowly over. There's another alligator coming in the water. There's alligator number th number. That was number one. One. Two is off in the weeds. Three in the middle down here. There's alligator one. I'm going to zoom in on him. Who's zooming in? There's an airboat. Just, oh, this is a bit. This is this guy's a little. And the, and the other one, where is he? He dove down, right? Yeah. He's going back to shore, guys. You could see his. Yeah. You could see the length of him now. You could see his little alligator body. The courtship continues. Alligator beef, exactly. Cheeky chops. Cheeky chops. We're not too far from the. Um, we're we're closer to Weston than we are to Naples, so we're pretty. We're more east than than west. I think we're I think we're a good distance from you. Why don't we just um, loop them onto this? You know. Oh, Carson. James. I like holding the hubster. Oh, Carson. Where'd the other guy go? I, I lost track of number three. Do you see number three? Right now, I don't. I I'm not sure. Oh. Fish jumping. I don't know where anybody is. Oh, they, look at him. They dove down. Yeah, there's, I don't know the address of this parking lot, Cheeky Chops. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not really, really sure uh, the address, but it's, if you look like on a Google Street View, it's the only one that has the big viewing platform. I don't know what mile marker or, or, or an address. It doesn't, it doesn't give you an exact address, you know? Feed it broccoli, as in poison. So look at a white one popped out over there. An egret. Yeah, I would say um, past the toll plaza. Would we say we're about 15 minutes in from the toll plaza? 15 minutes west of the toll plaza. Yes. 15 minutes west of the toll plaza from, from the I don't know where eastern any of the side. Are right now. They could be coming up here. I know. They could be making their way up the stairs. MG Mustang is like he's behind you. Yeah, exactly. I don't. I lost. Yeah, it. cheeky chops. We're definitely near Weston. We're definitely close to Weston. That's what I figured. We're pretty far from Naples. West side groove. East side groove. Hey South James, side groove. Um, I I need to get some water. Sure. It's um. I'll hold the gimbals. Yeah, let me go like this. South side groove. James here. East side groove. West side groove. Vincent, look, I got my. Uh... Hey, Sylvana, popping in. Got the sea turtle bag from Vincent. We're a little zoomed in. It's okay. The bag looked good that close. Guys, right now we've lost track of all three Do alligators. Do you want any, or you should I just put it away? Uh, just tuck it away for now. Bella Estrella because we're we're on a viewing platform so we're safe from the alligators they're not gonna like come and grab Hudson or anything like that it's totally safe it's different like I mean they could theoretically they could be on that dock over there 
So it's like you take more risk if you're on the dock. But where we are, like they basically, they can't get to us because we would spot them way before they could climb up. I mean, they would have to leave the water, climb up on the land, and then climb up right, to the viewing off. platform. Oh, here in. comes a boat. That could stir things up. up. James, a boat's coming in. It could yeah, stir things up. Stir up oh, DJ Knight 2024 says Wally Gator. <laughs> yeah. Stir it up, little darling, stir it up. Here they come. Wait, that was a good trip. Is that the same folks? Nah. Look, there goes the hidden grit. Oh, look at that. <coughs> Bless you. Yeah, look at him. He's got his shirt off. Got some uh, suntan. He's got an anchor on there. They're coming in. Now that could stir things up, guys. So you never know what what gators might 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 be stirred up. Gator cam. Oh, Vincent, I'm sure Hudson will lo love the gifts. Thank you so much for sending them. Guys, we're searching for gators. We've already spotted three gators. I mean, literally within minutes of starting the, the live stream, we spotted our first gator, and then we spotted two more after that. Had a Barbera Wally gator. Lisa UK girl says, you guys are sensible. You never put Hudson in danger. You got that right. We, 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 uh, we, love, our, we love our Hudson. Oh, this is an airboat. Guys, a big Make airboat. Sure a big airboat's coming in. Now they're loud. You're going to hear it. Maybe he's going to make a right. Uh, doesn't look like that. Yep. Oh, yeah, you're right. Up oh, there, boats are coming around this way, guys. He headed off. There's, a, there's an area where he can go off um, to another area of the Everglades. So he went... He went uh, he took a fork in the in the in the waterway. <laughs> you hear that? I do. Airboat cam, exactly. <laughs> Vincent Padula says maybe if you sing, the alligators will come out. Yeah. Serenade. Sing an alligator meeting song, James. An alligator serenade. I put the alarm in my neck in a little bit with this. There we go. I don't see a gator. Do you want to put it away because it's so heavy? Sure. I'll hold this if you want to tuck it in. Oh, Mighty Bulls entered the room. Mighty Bull, we've seen three alligators, but no bull sightings yet, yeah. except for Hudson, who's yeah. the cutest pit bull in the world. Yeah, he's a gator. Is this all the way in now or no? Yeah, I wound it in. All the Just way? put the cap on, yeah. As long as it's up to 100, we're good. Guys, this is a the theater we're working in for gators. Looking north. Beautiful, beautiful sky today. Everglades sky. Little white puffy clouds. Egrets flying around. We've seen three gators already. Fish are jumping. The wind is on. The wind is, is it's nice and uh, it's a nice cool breeze. See, there's a snow egret down on the shore over there. So he's flying now. He's flying right by the tree to the left of the tree. That's a snowy egret. Here, let me take this because I'm, you know. Snowy? For Hudson. Egret. Just. Right, honey? Exactly. DJ Knight says, Wally, Wally Gator says, oh my God, I'm needing to be in the Everglades. Oh, Chloe's me is saying hey, um, hello. Hey, Chloe's me. Oh, there could be bullfrogs here. You're absolutely right. There could be bullfrogs. I totally agree. 
guys, so the three alligators, they're out here somewhere. The, the, a boat came by and they kind of like disappeared into the um, water's edge. Underbrush. So we're not spotting them now, but they're there. They're just being silent, yeah. deadly and silent. Trust me, they're, they, they see it. They're out there. Here comes another boat down the alleyway here. They're out there and they're loving it. Yes. Guys, we're looking for, we're looking for the gators, guys. Gator cam. And as well says they should put a bell on the gators. Yeah, that would be good. Oh my god. Oh, little fluffy clouds. Yeah, that would be a good yeah. song. Orb. Orb. Look at that. It is little fluffy the clouds. Very good. I like that, Nick G. Excellent. Ricky Lee Jones sample. Look at that. Look at those clouds, guys. Look at the sky. All this is the Everglades, and the Everglades extends on the other side of the highway as well. It's one of the, I mean, it's one of the most peaceful places and it's like one of our favorite places to come. Every time we're in Florida, we, we always make a trip out to the Everglades. It doesn't matter whether it's winter, spring, summer, fall. All, all you have to do is call and I'll be there. Yes, I will. I'm the alligator. Yeah, the birds are happy too. Vincent's saying they're they're happy when they're tweeting like that. Yeah, there's so many beautiful birds we've seen, birds especially I mean, especially in like January and February, February like oh, in she's the gonna trail the boat. when they migrate. Right now, there's not a lot of birds in sight, but um, we've seen spoonbill, um, roseate spoonbills. We've seen um, like all uh, snowy egrets. We've seen. Um, Gahula hoolies, whatever they're called. Yeah, Jeff Kalulis. Huh. I want to see another gator. Where are they? DJ Knight says this is so beautiful. It's like looking at nature, exactly. Jamie Smith is saying hello from Oakland Park. Hey. Hey, Oakland Park in the house. Oh, Aus Fly Girl says hi, J K and H. This is beautiful. Watching quietly while multi multitasking at home. Nice. Chloe Smith is saying it's so calm and beautiful here. Yeah, guys. I mean, like. You know, this is just like back to nature out here. And there's so many different forms of wildlife that it just, it's so serene and peaceful. And it's not really not difficult to get to. And where we are, we're on a viewing platform. So it, it lets you see like a good distance and you're safe. So you don't like have to worry, like especially if you have a dog with you, like we have Hudson, you don't have to worry that a gator gator is going to you know like try to grab your dog or anything because i mean right. they they can eat dogs you know there's videos hey carol watch hey, carol. out for the skunk ape exactly stephen casto you could smell it before you're going to see it the skunk ape Terry M says, James and Carla, have you ever been to Shark Valley? Lots of gators this uh, time of year. Terry M, the problem with Shark Valley is that you're not allowed to bring dogs. There's no dogs allowed in Shark Valley. Um, so because of that restriction, I mean, you know, Hudson is a registered service animal. So, I mean, theoretically, I guess we could bring him. But, uh, I mean, I would not feel that safe to do so because... The sharks are just like out there in the middle like of the path that not you're sharks. walking at. Not sharks. I mean, not sharks. I mean, oh, alligators. Heavens. Oh, can you imagine? Right. But I really wouldn't feel that comfortable. And plus, like, it's it's not a pet friendly place. Like right. they, they, they specifically say no dogs. About what? I'll just keep your eyes focused over there then. Laura ben, uh, ben Benuto? Ben Benuto says hello. Hi, Laura. Thanks for joining Hi. us. What did you say, babe? You need to get something from the car? No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. 
Guys, I'm still looking for the alligators. We spotted three alligators, but we've lost track of them because a boat went by and it kind of scared them into the um, edge of the marsh. Bella Shelley says, we can't let any animal prey on Hudson. Exactly, exactly. So guys, we try to choose to visit places that are pet friendly, always pet friendly and safe for sweet boy Hudson. But guys, it is so beautiful here. It's not hot at all. I think the air temperature is around 79 degrees Fahrenheit, but there's a real nice breeze and we're in the shade. So we're feeling like super comfortable. Boss Fly Girl says, it's amazing this national park looks so tranquil and filled with lazy looking but ferocious creatures. Exactly. I mean, think of it. There's panthers out there. There's panthers out there. And just to hear the birds and like you just feel like so at one with nature. Oh, look, look, look. There's an anahinga. Yeah, thousands of gators. Hey, Joe Maliga, how are you? Joe, we've spotted three alligators already. I haven't seen him. Guys, there's three alligators somewhere in the, where, like, they just went to the edge of the water. I hear the big python snakes are getting bad. Yeah, there's, they've, they've caught snakes out here. Yeah, anaconda. Henry Miller just gave us two thumbs up. Thank you. Oz Fly Girl appreciates the big skies. Oh, yeah. Oh, there are no bullfrogs in the Everglades. No bullfrogs? <laughs> Apparently not. Well, I don't think there'd be frogs. But not bullfrogs. Maybe well, it's bull a different... Okay. Janice Reynolds says, Hudson will show a gator what's up. Hudson's like, what's up? There's a snowy egret. Yeah, we've spotted all different species of birds here, guys. Um, we've spotted a uh, red-tailed hawk. Henry Miller says, I enjoy the sounds of nature. Well, this is the place for you then. So what this is called is do you, this this area is 671,831 acres. This area of the Everglades, guys, is it's a good expanse of 671,831 acres. I'm reading a sign right now. And this is called a tree island. And it um tree islands um there used to be many more of them, but droughts and floods have destroyed many of them. So they're yeah. working hard to preserve the ones that exist. And we are currently standing on an eight foot high platform. So we're out of harm's way because the marsh itself, like the marsh out there, the water is rarely more than two feet deep, even when it rains a lot. So the, even the tree islands sit on elevated bedrock that's just a few inches higher than the surrounding marsh. So rarely is the water more than two feet deep. So it's very shallow water. And that's why boats such as airboats are, are, po are popular because flat, they can, flat. right, they're flat bottom. And because they don't have a prop, uh, they can go through the very uh, shallow water and through the marshes. Hudson would love a pizza tree. Oh, yes, a pizza tree. That couldn't be more fabulous. What do you feed a pizza tree? Yeast? <laughs> D-Nex says, looks like a nice day there. It is. Zazo Bob says we went to Shark Valley a while back and we counted 33 gators along our walk. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's a lot. Zazo Bob, that's a record. 
Mighty Bull is playing an astrological game saying, I'm a Taurus. What are you? I'm a Leo. I'm a goat. James is a Capricorn. Yeah. I got a rock. Guys, we're alligator watching. We're bird watching. We're wildlife watching. We're in the wild, guys. A panther could be steps away from us. Who knows? Hey, James, could you just uh, grab that water for a second oh, for you me? Gotcha. Yeah. I just love the sky today. It's just so beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful here, guys. We've seen three alligators already, guys. Right now, the alligators are, um, you know, hidden. I'm sure they're there, like along the shore, but we, we, we haven't, um, there's not one that I could point out to you guys right now. Vincent Padula says, you never know what's hiding in the bushes. That's true. No, the, it's, the, the panthers are, are brown. The panthers that live in the Everglades are brown. I don't think there is such thing as a black panther. I think that's a, um, a misnomer. The, it's the species um, of panther is called the Florida panther. And they're definitely brown in color. All the way out here is 671,831 acres of beautiful Everglades National Park. Everglades is part of an ecosystem and it's a national park. Now, this uh, vast expanse of the northern Everglades sawgrass marsh is dotted with occasional clusters of taller shrubs and trees. And that's what's known as a tree island, like this. And it's a dry land that offers an oasis for many animals. Birds find nests and they rest, and alligators, snakes, and turtles, there's turtles out here, guys, lay their eggs safe from the threat of rising water. Even deer, raccoons, panthers, and bears will visit the island seeking refuge and food. So there could be anything out there. Bears, check. Panthers, check. Deer, check. Raccoons, check. Alligators, check. Snakes, check. Turtles, check. And all different species of birds. Oz Fly Girl says you saw three alligators, but already hundreds have seen you. Of course. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's uh that's quite quite right, Oz Fly Girl. They spotted us from a mile away. Yeah, so it's so uh tranquil, right? Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my, says MG Mustang. And don't forget the uh, skunk ape, says Keith Havens. Yeah, you'll, you'll hear the skunk ape. Oh, that was a fish jumping. Oh, Oz Fly Girl is a member of a club in the UK called the Cloud Appreciation Society. People all over the world show clouds in the wild, all kinds of oh, shapes are, and colors. These oh, are humdingers. Oh, so then you, then you must love these clouds. They're beautiful little puffy clouds, right? Yeah. It's super peaceful here, guys. You just feel like miles away. Paradise found. Check. Exactly. Henry Miller, you're absolutely right. And I mean, 
honestly, we have to protect this ecosystem because there's really nothing in the world like it. And, um, you know, we want it to last for, for years and years and years and years. Look at the clouds this way, James. They're quite dramatic. Yeah, they Look at really that. Are. Look at these clouds, guys. Yeah. Big bugs and snake. Yeah, the bugs aren't out right now, but they do come out Look. after sundown. You're absolutely right. There's oh, look an at him. Ibis. An ibis. 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 You're absolutely right, um, Vincent. The, the we, we have been here at sunset. We did a sunset cam and we started getting, you know, like bitten by all the bugs. Beaks. They have beaks. I don't see any gators right now, but I'm looking, guys. Cumulimus, a baby. This, this would be a great entry with the Cloud Appreciation Society. Those are cumulonimbus clouds. Let's, let's just look at those clouds for a little bit. I'm gonna keep my uh, my camera pointed this I'm way. For gators. It looks like the opening to The Simpsons. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there's fish in here, but the fishermen haven't really caught anything. But there's definitely fish here. El Manun Cascoglo says it's so beautiful. I need this. Oh, thank you. Thank you for watching, uh, El Manun. Appreciate it. Join the Hudson Club Pizza Club. Exactly. Yeah, this scene in the Everglades, members would dig it. Oz Fly Girl, why don't you take a screenshot? And, and if you want, I mean, I don't know if that's allowed, if you'd like to take a screenshot and then post it because we are streaming in, in HD. So you should be, be able to take a pretty, a pretty good screenshot. It should come out pretty clear. Aslan Boy says, look out for the purple gorilla, you know, that we saw yesterday. Yeah, yeah, they're out here. Oh, they're yeah, the two out. purple gorillas. That's perfect. Guys, in case you missed it, we live streamed from Miami Beach yesterday, and we found two um, purple gorillas. The bag Vincent got you keeps the water nice and cold. Yeah, Vincent, I, I got to tell you that the, the bag that you got me helps keep the water nice and cold, that it acts like, a, um, like an insulator. And I'm, I'm definitely bringing it back up to New York City. Are you kidding? That's going everywhere with me. Dennis Reynolds just sent us $10 and says thanks, guys. Thank you, Dennis. Fantastic job. Here's to Carla. Dennis, thank you. Thank you so much. Extra good. You know what? Here's to Hudson. Let's give Hudson a treat. Yeah. Let me get Hudson Let's a treat. Let's get Hudson a treat. Ready? James. Here we go. Hudson. Look what we got. Peanut butter and banana. James, peanut butter and banana. Nice. Flavor Looking for beautiful. That is a fantastic job. And then, what, look what else I bought. This is one of that um, Jackie sent us. Yes. It's one of the. Oh, um, you got to fix your jeans. Oh. From. Uh, Yep. Yes, uh, one of the blue buffaloes. Yep. Yep. Oh, did this get um? It was backwards? turned inside Twisted. out. Oh, yeah. let me let me fix it. Uh, from Jason, right? Yep. 
Jason, fantastic job with that. Gator Cam. Gator Cam, you got it on your Sunday, guys. Thousand miles from anywhere, it seems. I mean, it's just so beautiful and peaceful. That's the Anahinga, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's making his mating call. Look at this view with the clouds, honey. With the tree island and the clouds. I know, isn't that pretty? Yeah, I'm going to have to duck it out. Is this good now? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Here, I'll hold on to Mr. Hudson. Why don't you get that... Um, Get that extra uh, lens from the car. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go down this way a little bit. Oh, look, there's an Anahinga. See him in the water? Yep. Yeah, he's fishing. Hearts yeah, Wild fish. says hi, James. Hey, Hearts Wild. Hope you're enjoying this. We're in the Florida Everglades. It's a wonderful national park and a huge oh, ecosystem of 671,831 acres. Yeah. Oh, Vincent loves the shirt I'm wearing. Love that coffee. A Cafe Bostello is our, one of our favorite coffees. Yeah. In fact, it's funny because, you know, our wonderful channel supporter, um, Carolyn M., uh, sent us a beautiful um, Keurig coffee maker. And James really loves um, Cafe Bostello. And I was able to purchase these little things where you can put your own oh, coffee yeah. into like the little pods, like it's a refillable pod. So that way you're not also wasting a lot of plastic. And I've been making Cafe Bustello um, using the Keurig. So James has been loving it while we're down here. Yeah, yeah Dennis Reynolds, do the math. It's 671,831 acres. That's how big Everglades um, National uh, Park area is. Oh yeah, Oz Fly Girl, please feel feel free. Feel free to do that, Oz Fly Girl. Please take a screenshot. We don't mind at all. Go ahead. We're happy for you to do that. Yeah. DJ um DJ uh, Night 2024 says Amy Joe Johnson. Uh we do our part to, to keep um uh nature beautiful. Yeah. That's why, um, you know, don't ever feed the alligators. Um, you know, they're, they they're let them do their own thing. They don't need to be fed. It's a, it's part of an ecosystem. And uh, don't litter. You know, don't don't throw litter into the the water. Don't use if you're going to come out here and have a little picnic, then uh, use the trash cans that are provided. Yes, enjoy the sunlight. Yes, you're right. Florida, where we are in Florida, and I mean, really, the whole state of Florida isn't in the path of, um, of totality. Either is New York City, for that matter. New York City is going to be, about, I guess, around 80%. I, um, I think the path of totality, you have to go all the way up to Buffalo, which is basically by the Canada border, um, to see the, oh, it's the eclipse tomorrow. But um, that should be something. Zazo Bob says, I love Carla's uh, Cafe Bostello shirt, my mom's favorite coffee. Yeah, we got it. There used to be a Cafe Bostello um, like shop, you know, like a little coffee shop in Miami Beach. And that's where I got it. But they closed it a number of years ago. And I got a coffee mug from them too. Oh, Oswego, you're most welcome. Hearts Wild says, Carla and Sweet Boy Hudson, I'm enjoying this beautiful scenery. I love Florida and all the adventures with you three. Thank you for this. Oh, glad you're liking it. The guy that made the K, um, invented it, says he's sorry he made the K cups. Yeah, you know, but there's a workaround, uh, Vincent. We got these things, they're like, you know, like you can, you reuse them. Like um, they, they have a mesh liner. 
So, um, you know, they're plastic, but you reuse it and it's plastic with mesh. So the, the, the coffee filters through it and then you just fill it up yourself with whatever coffee you like or tea. If you want to make yourself tea, you could use it um, tea in it too. Osfly, oh, you'll just sent us ten dollars, saying that much appreciated. Oh, Osfly, oh, girl, thank you so much for that. Thank you. That is so sweet. Thank you, Osfly, oh, girl. Thank you. Extra good, Osfly girl. Let me let me show you some of the pretty clouds, so you can have. I'm gonna just leave it really still, so that way, in, you, in case you want to take a screenshot, I think this way is really pretty. Let me do right here. I'm gonna keep it on this, so in case you want to get some more screenshots, Osfly girl. Here's a really nice cloud one. Yeah, this it's, is this is a swamp. Yeah, this is like this is all part it's it's marsh. It's part of the Everglades National Park. See, it's 671,831 acres. acres. Like all this is the Everglades. All this and behind us too. All behind us now. Too. Yeah, on the other side on the other side of the road, it, that extends all the way to like, you know, through to Miami right. until it um it and we just saw like three different alligators, but the boat came by. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. They're swimming around. Yeah, there's there's thousands out there. Oh. But yeah, you just missed it. Um, they're 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 there, but we can't see them because the a boat came by and it scared them into the um, into the uh, water. Uh, well, they they were in the water, but they were like they were just swimming in the middle. Oh, yeah, yeah. If we were live streaming, so if you want, you can you see can what see we saw. It. We'll give you our channels name and you can you can see. rewind it back and, and see it. We saw three different ones. Oh, it's meeting awesome. season now for oh, the alligators. Season. Oh. So you'll see you'll see a lot of them. It just um, when a boat comes by, they get their, you know, they just protect themselves and they yeah. hide in the edge. Like no, that's not a gator. Just a fish, fish, fish jumping. What would be the um, uh, the things that you would look out for for an alligator? Like, if we, we just see like a, you see a raised its eyes or something. You see its snout, and like you'll usually see part of its back when it's when it's swimming. Um, here, wait, James. Where's our other phone? Yeah. Here, hold that. I'm gonna show him. Guys, it is so perfect out here. I'm gonna show oh, you. Oh, Desi Des, honey, four ninety nine. Oh, thank you, Desi Des. I Desi Des, our... fantastic job. Yeah, Thanks for the continued our... support. Really helps us out. Real. There's one. Oh, wait, you see an alligator again? There he is. Over by the bank. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's swimming right there. Yep. You see that? It's a small oh. one. Yeah. <laughs> There's a gator, guys. It's, it's a little tiny, tiny one. one. Tiny, yeah. yeah. So, like the, the one but that you're saying is. They're oh, huge. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Hold, hold on. Look at there. There's your first alligator. <laughs> it's, it's, it's something to remember, yeah. right? <laughs> Desi does fantastic job. Oh, wow. that's our, that's you our, saw that? Yeah, that's yeah. our live stream. That's our that's sure. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So that's what you'll. It was like that's you know, wild. It was, it was like right, right over here. Exactly. It was right there, and we took the photo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so uh, who was, so that was awesome. Desi does. Oh, Desi does. Thank you, Desi does. Extra Desi good. Des. 
Oh, look at Hudson. He's looking. He's looking for his pizza treat. He's in his. He's in the bag. He's. He's trying to get the pizza treats. Oh my God. Where'd the alligator go, James? It disappeared. He's still there. Oh, he's still there. Oh, I see him. Yeah. Guys, so alligator number four for this live stream. We're just counting them down. I, I can't even imagine. Can you imagine if we saw alligators like, you know, like a fight over, over, or, you know, because I think they fight with each other in mating season. Like, you know, they, they might fit, fight for a mate. Oh, yeah, he's just sitting there by the lily pads. Desi Des, we'll be, uh, we'll be driving back. Um, to New York sometime this week. We don't know. We don't know what day yet. We had to finish our work assignment tomorrow, and then, um, you know, if we finish it successfully tomorrow, we'll 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 have to figure it out because we, you know, we rent a car, so it, it's it's it depends on what day we can rent the car and everything like that. He's swimming. Yeah, I see him. He's swimming. He's small. Yeah, that's a small one. Yeah, there's so many pretty birds, like depending on the time of year that you come here. Like we've seen like there's one that's I think this is the most prettiest we've seen is the roseate spoonbill. It's bright pink. Oh, um, like a flamingo, but like, not a flamingo. but it's but not a flamingo. It's like a little crane kind of. No, it has a very strange. Um, they call it a spoonbill because it has a very strange beak. It like it uh, digs around in the mud for like crustaceans. That's why it gets its pink color. That's what it eats like little 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 crushed struck crushed crustaceans wow. but it's a it's an odd looking bird really really pretty I haven't seen any today usually we've seen those what in January and February yeah, yeah I mean it might be um, it might be too late too late for yeah they, they might have migrated someplace else already but we got to fire. see a Mini alligator, that would be great. There's a fire around here. Oh yeah, there is a fire. Oh. Guys, I don't know if you could see the see this, but there's a little fire out there in the Everglades. Like a little brush fire. Bella Strella said, I hope no one no dropped their phone in the water. Yeah. Yeah, they local. There he is, he's swimming Desi Des um, said, "Are we going to watch the eclipse? We won't. Um, we're we have to work tomorrow, so we're not sure if we're going to be able to see it. But it's not a it's not going to be a full eclipse here in in Florida. It's only um, a partial eclipse." Bye bye. Enjoy. It's nice meeting you. Yeah, it's a tiny little one. Oh, Henry Miller's family in the Lower East Side. Oh, extra oh, nice. good. That's that's where that's it's where that's our stomping grounds. That's a cute little bird. Yeah, see him over there. Oh, Desi Des says, "How come I'm no longer a member? Can I have the, please have the link um, for membership?" Oh, sure. oh, Nick G, would you mind putting up the the link? Um, to become a uh, YouTube member again for for Desi Des. Desi Des, maybe your, um, you know, sometimes what it is is sometimes the credit card expires or, you know, if you get a new card and a new number, because um, I, I remember you had a problem with that. That's that's probably why, why that happened. Um, Nick G, if it's, if it's not too much trouble, if, if you don't mind putting up the link. But uh, Desi Des, there's also, I think there's a link in the video description as well. If um if Nick G can't find it to put it up. You see it? Right yes. in front of the bush there. Yes, I do. Oh you you got some eclipse glasses. Yeah, be careful guys. And if you have pets, it's not a good idea to have them outside like staring at the sun either. You know, because their eyes can be damaged as well. Yeah, the clips. Banana clips. So these dragonflies. Oh, thank you, Nick G. Desi Des, Nick G just put up the link. Thank you, Nick G. So these dragonflies have good meat on them. They're, they're hardy. See the fire out there, honey? Yeah. Judy Z said this time in Florida went by fast. Yeah. Time flies when you're having fun, guys. 
you know, we had a lot of work, but we had a lot of fun too. So it's been a fun time. Yeah. Yeah. We, we really enjoyed. And honestly, the weather was so perfect this winter. This was the best winter, um, by far and, and spring, uh, you know, like glorious. last year, February in February, nice. tr February, 2023, it was already in the nineties, um, every day. And it wasn't yeah. like that at all. Like when Nick G came down and visited, he, he had the most perfect weather in February and March was like that too. It, it has not been extraordinarily hot. It's been so pleasant and beautiful. I mean, it was, it's one of our best, um, weather wise, better of our best, uh, best uh, visits down here. Dragonflies eat a lot of mosquitoes. Oh, so that's good, John Smith. Yeah, there's good meat on these. Lisa UK girl says, yes, glad you're sensible about that. Not looking at the, uh, not Look looking at the eclipse. Yeah, and don't try to look at it through your iPhone or anything like that either. It's like it, it that's not good either or through a camera lens or anything or like that camera, yeah. yeah you can it's you none of that filter, which right is... you need a special filter if you're going to oh, even wow, use a the telescope the he kid was... went in the water yeah he just waded in there to get it i think his, his uh oh that's lore was that's stuck. dangerous i wouldn't really yeah. be wanting to wade in this water drop your hot pocket mm -hmm. Oz Fly Girl just became a YouTube member. Nice Thank job, you so Oz much, Fly Oz Fly Girl. Extra, extra That's good. That's a fantastic job. Nick G is saying, would you say it was the best winter because we visited? Well, of course, yeah, Nick of course. G. I mean, you know, that yeah. that goes without saying, right? That was great. That was a great time. It's fun. Stuff. Vincent Padula says, and poor Nick G's head got burnt. Oh. Yeah, he's still putting lotion on it. Oh, Desi Des says, question, how can you tell if your eclipse glasses are legitimate? Um, I would look that up online. I think they have, um, I know that they've put all sorts of warnings of like what you should be looking for. I, I know that they have to be super dark. Make like a hole in a paper and you see it. Well, that's the secondary way, yeah. yeah but I think, I think it has to be so dark that it does, they don't let any light in, basically. Um, you know, it's, your regular sunglasses will not work. Do not try using regular sunglasses. That will not provide protection for you. They have to be like a, a like a, a blackout kind of yeah. glasses. Yeah, brush fires get bigger. Osfly girl says, um, "You brighten my days." Oh, thank you. Thanks, Osfly girl. I'm looking for where Gator went. Yeah, this is so it. peaceful, guys. So peaceful and beautiful. I mean, you just feel like so relaxed, just feel like your troubles melting away, like just miles away from everything, guys. Just be with nature. Right, James? Be the ball. Be the ball. See your future, M make your future. Oh, Vincent Padula, wow. So it will be a, um, uh, extra good is gonna be a, m a member for, um, I'm moving them up on it, April 12th. Extra nice good. Oh, Thank you, Vincent. Here comes a boat, so that could stir things up for the gators, that sometimes after the boat comes through, maybe we'll see another gator. Look at this. Oh, MG Mustang says the best glasses have a one two three one two dash two labeling on them. Nice. Henry Miller says, how does Hudson deal with the heat? Um, I mean, Hudson's fine. You know, we always give him plenty of cold drinking water. We make sure that he's hydrated. I think that's the key. And um, you know, yeah, we keep him in the shade as well. You know, they started getting rough. You know, we did, Hudson was born in Miami. We, uh, we rescued him here in Miami. He was born in, in the warm, warm weather. So, you know, he, he kind of is used to the warmer weather, but look at him now, guys. Hudson's hanging out. Oh, he was laying down. There he is. There he is. Boop cam. <laughs> Cute Hudson, right, Jimmy? Yeah. 
So this is a nice area because you can, if you have a boat, you can launch your boat from here. Yep. Um, Airboat, whatever. Canoe. Yeah, canoe. <laughs> Oh, Keith Havens, uh, Keith Havens is celebrating a 13 months of membership. Congratulations, Keith, Keith Havens. Havens. Extra Fantastic good job. job. Little homies right here. Osfly Girl says, Hudson's a Floridian. Do we get a tax break for him? <laughs> no tax break for Hudson. Oh, hey, Marty Lewis is saying hi. Oh, Vincent Padula is having a cup of Bustello right now. We uh, put him in the mood for it. Yeah. Oh, extra good, uh, Vincent. I'm in the mood for Bustello. I'm looking for the Gator guys again. He's, uh, you know, since the boat came by, he drifted off into the, to the side of the uh, marsh. <laughs> The Sawgrass Marsh. That's what this is, guys. A Sawgrass Marsh. Did Hudson eat all the treats? No, no, he didn't. He 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 held back. He um, we dole out the treats little by little. Paul McDowell says the Lake District here is pike fish teeth are razor sharp. Yeah, pike. Salish Money's like, oh my God, scary alligators. Yeah, but guys, don't worry. We're safe. We're on a viewing platform and um, we're eight feet high um, from the water. So we're safe from the alligators. Zazo Bob says the eclipse glasses will only allow you to see the sun and nothing else. Yeah, because it's otherwise total blackout. Would it be safe on a boat with the alligators? Could they climb up? Uh, Lisa UK girl, I suppose they could, but like the boat, you know, you could get away from them, you know, you because of the motor. That's why a canoe, I guess, would be less safe because... I don't, I think a, I think a alligator could swim faster than you can canoe. I think so, yeah. You know? Tootsie Schmutzy says it's gorgeous. Oh, I like your, I like your name, Tootsie Schmutzy. Yeah. Oh, I hear an airboat. Oh, airboat, yep. That's an unmistakable sound. Desi Desa says it's so beautiful here. <laughs> Vincent loves it when it's sunny. And the birds are tweeting. Yeah, it's pretty. It's really relaxing here, isn't it, guys? I'm loving it. And it's a perfect temperature. It's not hot at all. And we're protected out of the sun here. So, you know, we're not, um, we're like not baking in the sun or anything like that. Little white bird on the rail. MG Mustang says, I would not get in this water with a canoe. Yeah, you know, uh, unless you're an alligator wrestler, I yeah. mean, I wouldn't feel, I wouldn't, I wouldn't either, put or it that Lady way. Or Lady Gaga's meat dress. Yeah, I would not wear Lady Gaga's meat dress and, and go in a canoe. No. Yes. <laughs> wouldn't do that. Doesn't make sense. It's not prudent. Dennis Reynolds says that you might want to keep your arms inside the confines of the boat as well. That's true. Look, look they're pulling their boat in. Don't, quick ride, right? don't like dangle your arms in the water as you, you know, to yeah, feel the, the cooling water. No dangling of the arms or feet. Look, the, the uh, brush fire's going out. 
Yeah, the low humidity helps a lot too. Yeah, Bell Estrella. It is very low humidity. Um, the last couple of days have been super, super low humidity. Yeah, guys, look at this. Look at this guy. Oh, I like them so much. Look at that beak, guys. I don't think it is either. Oh, Desi Des says, uh, can you please send me the link for membership? Oh, yeah. Desi Des, we can always um, email it to you, um, too. I believe I, I have your email uh, saved to our our email address book. Desi Des, fantastic job. Oh, and then Nick G just put it up. Thank you, Nick G. You're the best. Hey, Alex Burrell is here. Judy Z loves this. Thank you, Judy Z. Paul McDonough says my bath water is more deadly. <laughs> oh my God, Paul McDonough. Oh my gosh, you're, Paul, you always make us laugh. You always make us laugh. Oh, that McDonough. Vincent doesn't like humidity. Vincent, then I would not move to South Florida because most times of uh, many, many months of the year, especially the summer, it's, it's pretty humid. But the good thing is, is that everything is well air conditioned so even if you're not planning on staying outside much you know you can be away from the humidity by just you know doing indoor things oh puppy brother says what kind of bird was that was that a stork no that was not a wood stork it was an ibis i-b-i-s known down here as Evie's. The wood stork, I'm gonna show you what the wood stork looks like. The wood stork has like a different kind of um, head. This is the wood stork. That's what the wood stork looks like. See its head is different. It has a curved beak as well, but it's a different, different kind of beak. Not as sharply curved. Oh, wow, so peaceful here, guys. So beautiful. And like sunning himself in the sun is what's called an anahinga. I'm going to point it out, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom in on the anahinga. The bird, the bird that I put in the center of the screen, it looks like you can't even, it's not, it's barely moving, is called an anahinga. They sit with their wings spread. Yeah, they sit with their, like he was fishing earlier and now he's drying his wings off and he sits like with his wings all spread out like that. We're still looking for gators. We've seen four alligators today. Hey, what's that? Time. You see that? In I the see water it. right there? You see, see that it. little tip? Yeah, I see it. Is that a gator, you think? I can't confirm. Might be a turtle? Could be a turtle. It's a good call, honey. Oh, can we see the view behind you? It's just of the parking lot, Nick G. You can't really see anything. Um, it's just a par oh, yeah. 
It's the parking lot. There's definitely James, there's there's definitely something because it went it went it dove back down. That yeah, head dove back I down. Think. Yeah, I think it was a turtle as well. Searching for alligators. Jimmy, look. Yeah, I think so too. Andy Wood saying hello everyone and hello gators. Oh, Puppy Brothers asking, how do you feel about Madonna being sued for being uh, starting the concert late? Yeah, that was the concert that we were at. Um, you know, we expected her to be late, so, um, you know. It didn't really bother us, uh, you know. We we had we loved we enjoyed the concert. I mean, when she was scheduled to start, which was 8 p.m., we were we were sitting having dinner because like we knew that there was no way on earth that she was going to start promptly at 8 p.m. So we weren't affected by it at all. Bella Estrella says, I'd love to see one of those brown panthers. Yeah, us too. We went to like, we went to that area of the Everglades where there's a specially uh, bigger concentration of panthers. But of course, you know, we didn't see any. I think they're more spotted at dusk. But uh, what was the name of that place, James? Big Cypress. Big Cypress. Yeah, Big Cypress. That's where the, there's a lot of um, Florida panthers. Oh yes, Vincent Padula says, oh yeah, Junior's Cheesecake was amazing. Wow, the wind is really picking up, guys. We have a wind muff on, so I... Oh, alligator. Guys, alligator. Number five. Alligator, guys. Oh, he just dove down. He's out of view again, James. We just saw another alligator, guys, but he, but he dove down. Alligator spotting number five. That's a totally different area. Cayman Cinco. Jim, Cayman Cinco. Cayman Cinco. Oh my God, Oz Fly Girl took a picture of a day of with a Florida Panther at the State Fair and it had a collar and a trainer and let out a low growl. It freaked me out. 
Oh my God. Yeah, I don't think Florida Panther is your friend. On the other side of this, um, on the other side of the highway, they, like, there's this little area where there's like an indoor exhibit where they show like, um, you know, like the taxidermy animals, like the panther and stuff like that. Wow, it's gotten really windy. The wind has really picked up, guys. You heard the hud shake in the background. Do you want to go to and see the other side? Yeah. Guys, so you know what? Let's, let's go and... Um, I'm not sure I'm, if I have service um, that I can show you that little um, animal display area, but let's let's go on the other side of the highway. We're gonna go in the car now, and we're gonna we're gonna go uh, move to the other side. Got it. Hold on. Hold on one second, guys. Here comes a boat. Let's just wait and see what the airboat's going to do. Oh, it's turning. It's turning. Yeah, so guys, let's see. I mean, I don't know if there's the, any alligators at the other side. Yeah. But there's another area. Like this, this little area is of the Everglades where the viewing platform is divided and it's a divided highway and we're going to go on the other side of the highway and we'll look to see if we spot anything on the other side as well nick g says this is a treat Boss Fly Girl says, this Florida trip makes me really want to visit Florida. Yeah, and this is nice because this is ADA accessible, too. It is. Yeah, you can just so go right up the ramp. This is ADA accessible. You can just go up the ramp, which is yeah, which is super nice. And you can see they have, yeah. uh, they have parking here for it. Now, let me just show you all the animals that live in the Everglades. There's like a little um, thing here see welcome to the Everglades oh and here's the spoonbill on um, here's the roseate spoonbill right here that's the roseate spoonbill that's the that's the bird that we've seen in the past and then there's a, the uh, the kite right yep. the k-i-t-e yep. yeah that's the one that goes after the, the, uh, the snails snail yeah so this is part of the great Florida birding trail and you could see now you could see like the the platform see how high up we were so we were very safe far away from the dangerous alligators super safe Here's hudson. yeah you'll have to unlock it first yep. it. so we're gonna get hudson inside the car and we're gonna go to the other side of the um viewing area we can, you can, you don't have to get on the highway. You just like drive around. No, I'm not yet. Yes, we've been to this, we've been to this um, before. It's our favorite little area. James, if you want to um, take this for a second. Welcome aboard help, this afternoon, guys. Help the Hudster into the car here. AC, you're going to hear. Hudson wants AC to be nice and cool. Vincent, I think you're on the money yet again. And Vincent, we're going to give Hudson some water before we um, before we take off. Hold on, James. We got nice cold water in the car. Hudson loves his comfort. His AC, he likes it on. James, if you want to spin around, show everyone Hudson having some water. Hudson's having some water, guys. On his cloud blanket. 
and his little water cup from from Adriana Rodriguez and family. It's his Bucky Bowl. He's loving it. So oh, he's thirsty. Yes, I mean, see some cool water. Make All done, sweet boy. Beautiful. All right, let me throw out the rest. Hold on. Yep. The sweet boy Hudson, right, honey? Yep. Hold on, um, James. Just give me one second because I noticed that the um, that battery thing. Oh, was Hug a little Andy low. Wood. Hudson's skin is doing much better this year. Yeah, he didn't have an. He hasn't had an allergy. Attack. He hasn't. I think because it's been much, much cooler. Well, also we didn't let him uh, roll around. Well, in yeah, the grass. and we've been more aware of him coming in contact with like lawns, not even like woods, right. but it's more like a lawn. Right. That we didn't let him roll around. Good question, Andy Wood. Nice. He's Guys, been doing much better. You're gonna hear a ch microphone is changing. Yep. Oh, Desi Daz just became a member. Extra good, Desi Daz. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Thank you. Thank and thank you, Nick G, for putting the link up so Desi Daz could um could sort that out. We really do appreciate it. Desi Daz can use your you can use your Hudson emojis again. No, yeah, the Hudson emojis. There he goes. The Hudson emojis. He's like, oh, thank God for the Hudson emojis. We'll give you a little tour. Yeah, we're gonna give you a little tour, guys. This is where we were. This is where you can launch, launch some boats. That parking out there is more for tractor trailers. Right. There's nothing scenic at all out there. Right. This is. This That's is for a tractor trailer to pull over. Scenic Alligator nuts. Alley. See, it says only trailer parking, or the boat trailers. See, South 75 to the right, North 75 to the left. And what this does is like, you'll see there's restrooms on the other side and a fire rescue station. Look how pretty the clouds look. Yeah, look, people are fishing here. Now I didn't see anything in the water over here. No. I think it was the same people that used to be in our yeah. area that came down over here. Maybe the fish are biting better here. Yeah, maybe they got a tip. Yeah, a hot tip. That's it. Oh, it looks like a lot of more people are on this side. Fishing over here. Look yeah. at everybody fishing over here. Wow, guys. lots of... This is a hot hopping fishing Look, spot. there's an airboat coming in. An airboat? Oh, and that's what the one we just heard. Yeah. yeah. Let me loop through there and show them that. Let me just get this gimbal straight because it's uh, confused, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so guys, this is the Everglades um, Wildlife Management Area. Yep. As you see, Francis S. Taylor. And there's uh, boat launches, there's boat picnic launch. areas. Yep, they got their airboat out there. They're doing their thing. These Funny. are all the Plenty of boat truck trailers, park, right, truck honey? parking. Yep, yeah, lots of good. He's gonna go get his airboat, I think. That's what's waiting for him there. Hey, what was that? That's a big uh, buzzer, right? Oh, I missed it. I was looking out the side. Nick, she says, "Oh, this is awesome, guys." Yeah. So, in case you ever want to come out this way, this is, uh, you know. Did you want to show them down the other end too? No, oh, this is this is good. Open. Now they're building a new observation Look, platform. We'll drive in there. The parking uh, lot's I, I, open. I don't think it's open yet. Oh, look at this! What's this? All this? What are this these Ferraris? The What's this thing? This oh. this truck full of uh, expensive cars. Yeah, auto box. Auto box. Look at that. Wow. This Ferraris in there. Yeah. Oh my God. No, it's still not open. So watch out, it could be construction material. Yeah, look, it's still not open. Oh, see, it's still not open yet. You can't make a right here. That's it's still strange. locked. Right that here. for the trucks, right? No, yeah, we, we can. That's... Yeah. There we go. See, now this is, these are the bathrooms. Did you want to show them? 
Oh, I could go inside and show that little uh, diorama if you want. Yeah, let me uh, pull over here. See, we're not able to go onto this observation platform. They haven't, they've been, they finished building it, but it's still closed to the public. I'm go you're, around you're, to the you're not allowed to, to go no, there. I can't yet. wait to show you guys that. That ought to be fun. Little picnic areas. Here, you can go in the shade right over here. Yeah, little barca loungers, right, honey? Do you want to stay in here yeah, and I'll just I'll go stay inside? Right here. Yeah, I'm not going to let it just sit here. Guys, Hudson and James are going to stay inside um, in the car with the air conditioning. And I'm going to go show you the little, little diorama. I'm going to show you the little diorama area. So hold on, guys. So there's public restrooms here. So this is nice to know if you're, if you're planning on coming out here to the Everglades that you can have, uh, you know, there's a restroom facility. See, this is the Everglades. This is the Everglades. Oh, so this is our location, Cheeky Chops, Lyle 35. So, now I, now I know where we are. Cheeky Chops was wondering where we were, and there's vending machines here. So look at this, guys. This is um, talk about the Everglades. This is the flow of life. People often think of the Everglades as the river of grass immortalized by Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, but that's just part of the greater Everglades ecosystem, which sprawls more than 300 miles from Orlando to Florida Bay. It's an enormous ecosystem linking the River of Grass with the Kissimmee Okeechobee Basin, the coastal Atlantic Ridge, the Mangrove Forest in Florida Bay, and the big cypress landscape. The altered flow. That. Isn't that cool? that there's a little, this is the wood stork. Look at that. That's what the wood stork looked like. And look at the little babies. Isn't that so cute? And it says, in recent years, fully protected colonies of wood storks suffered frequent nesting failures. Unfortunately, like the Everglades ecosystem, the wood stork is now endangered. They usually, it's a highly colonial species, usually nesting in large rookeries and feeding in flocks. In South Florida, wood storks lay eggs in January or February, and nests are most often constructed in the upper branches of large cypress trees or in mangroves on tree islands. So that's... It's an indicator species because it requires a particular environment in order to thrive. Wood storks have a unique feeding technique. They forage under the water's surface, not by sight, but by touch, sweeping their submerged bills from side to side. As they touch prey, mostly small fish, their bills snap shut in an amazing 25 millisecond reflex action. Only seasonally drying wetlands concentrate enough fish to provide the 440 pounds a pair of wood storks requires to eat in a breeding season. They eat 440 pounds of fish. And then let me show you this. This is really cool. This is the sea otter. Look, so there's otters and there's turtles. Otters give birth to two or three pups in the late spring. Pups stay with their mother about a year. Adult otters can weigh 30 pounds and measure 35 to 43 inches. Their main threats are humans and alligators. So that's what they're showing the otter. See, there he is. And there's a turtle, look how cute. Many species making home in the tree islands of the Everglades management area. Among them are the streamlined river otters, which are most members of the weasel family who love to frolic in the water. Their webbed back feet allow them to swim quickly and they feed on turtles, fish, and an occasional baby gator. Oh my God. They can swim up to six miles per hour and hold their breath for as long
Oh, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I didn't realize it was buffering in there. I don't know why. I guess it's like a really cement structure. Hope you can hear us. You're a sea otter super fan. Oh, Oz Fly Girl. Yeah, I don't know why it buffered, but I guess it's like the building is like, is built to withstand a hurricane. And I don't know, I mean, I'm right by a cell tower, but for some reason it wasn't, uh, you know, working too well in there. So now we're back. It was interesting, but empty. Oh, good. Thank you, Vincent. Yeah, look at this guy. He says, your internet is good now. Thank you. Thank you, your internet is good now. <laughs> James, it was so cute. I showed them the little, it was a, a display for the sea, uh, uh, for a little uh, river otter as well. And I showed them the wood stork. You know, the wood stork is what they call an indicator species because it only um, thrives in a particular ecosystem. So it, it, it has to do with the health of the Everglades. Right. Um, they so eat yeah, it can during, tell if it's a healthy system. Right, during breeding season, which is the spring, um, they need 440 pounds of fish wow. to survive. Wow, so they just eat during a this lot one of, season. They, eat, they expend a lot of energy in the mating season, apparently. Oh, wow. Yeah, so um, they're endangered. I'm gonna, I guess, I, I don't know if it's going to open this summer, but um, it's not open. Guys. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, look at how high it is. Yeah. But it's, it's locked now, so you, you're no trespassing. We can't go up on it now. No. We have to wait until it's fully ready. I wonder how many people in chat have never been to a national park. This could be a semi-visit. Yeah. yeah. This is like you're you're here virtually with us. Right, James? Yeah. Now, are you going to stop at the... This is that, the last the of us. And there's, yeah, another there's another one. one. Yeah. So, guys, we're going to go to another rest area. We're going to show you. Two miles. Next, ne in two miles, we're going to go to the next rest area. Observation, natural area. Charging. 
that uh, oh, yeah, let's covered area. Yeah, it's down there going on. Someone's in the camper, they got all the curtains drawn. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, we're gonna go park near the covered area. That way, um... Look, they're all fishing. Yeah, a lot of people fishing. It's a popular fishing spot. Guys, I'm gonna ch the you'll you'll hear a change in the mic again. Hold on, uh, microphone is changing. Can you hold that one second, James? Got it. I think Warm you're right still uh, there. Yep, I'm strapped in. Let's just peek over the edge here and see what's here. See, whenever they have picnic tables, guys, they put the fence. Because picnic tables usually mean food, which would I'm attract gators. Yeah. You want to hold Mr. Hudson? Yeah, it would attract the gators, right? Right. Yeah, so they put this fence here, so that way, you know, if you're having a picnic, uh, you know, a gator won't be taking your food away from you. You won't have any surprise, uh, a surprise guest. You won't have a surprise guest. Oh, LAB's birthday. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. LAB, LAB, yesterday was my birthday. Uh, 64 years old. Happy birthday to LAB yesterday. Happy belated birthday to LAB. Happy belated birthday to LAB. And Hudson's here too. Oh yes he is. So let's let's see what this says over here, James. Alligator Alley. Alligator Alley with James and Carla. From Snape Road to Super Highway. Look at this, guys. This is all about the history. Did you know a portion of the Alligator Alley toll money goes to protecting the Everglades? Over 60 million in toll money has been raised to fund the projects that help restore and preserve the wondrous Everglades. Because when we drove out here, the toll is $3.75. That's how much the toll is, $3.75. Oh, look at James just found. Oh, snail show. Look what James just found. That's probably from the hawks, you know? So with your toll money, you, you, you help save the ecosystem. So that's great to know. And then look at this. Since 1968, the year I was born, Alligator Alley has guided motorists across South Florida. Uh, opened in February 1968 after four years of construction, a two-lane road, just like James was saying was originally named Everglades Parkway, State Road 84. It was one of the most controversial Florida roadways ever built because it was desolate, dangerous, and it was a narrow road that motorists often avoided. Many predicted it would just become an alley for alligators. Joining the hype, the state officially and proudly adopted the name Alligator Alley. Fantastic so job. that's so cool. Look at that. As the population of South Florida grew, the need for improved uh, interstate networks arose and an extension of Interstate 75 was approved, connecting the west and east coast. And it was rebranded Alligator Alley from State Road 84 to Interstate 95. Wow. And today, Alligator Alley offers fast, safe, and efficient passage across South Florida. It's the final link to connect Interstate 75 from Detroit, Michigan to Miami, Florida. Wow, Detroit to Wow, look at that. And look at that, the Si Chang Li. Did you know that that was that was called? No. No, I think that's a druid. 
It's a, it's a blue heron, but so it's Si Chang Lee drew it. Oh, okay. The artist. Oh, okay. So that's amazing, guys. Yeah, there is. I don't see any alligators over here, guys, but I'm looking. Oh, good night, Nick. Thanks for uh, moderating, Nick. And happy birthday, uh, guys. LAB. So, so cool, right guys? Yeah, so this was amazing, 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 guys. Thanks for chilling with us. Just last time. Thanks for coming along, chilling with us for a while. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We really Hudson loved it. We really appreciate the love and support. Thanks for watching. Um, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to our channel. And uh, guys, uh, we're not really sure about our tomorrow. schedule for tomorrow. We do have work scheduled. We will be driving and live streaming our entire drive back to New York this week but i'm not sure what day we're it's going all up to in the leaving. air guys um if we finish our work early tomorrow um maybe we will live jump stream on tomorrow, for a little bit i i can't i don't really know because we have um, no idea yeah it, you know like it's a uh, it's a, a job that requires both interior and exterior photography so it really depends on you know how long everything takes us so we'll give you an update of course if you're a youtube member and a patreon member you get advanced notification on when we will be live streaming so we'll let you know if we are but our regular monday live live stream right now is being postponed but we'll let you know when we'll be back on um and uh we hope you enjoyed this yeah we'll uh, see you guys happy sunday guys subscribe if you would <laughs> it helps us out thanks guys